Have you started using Copilot for finance yet? Go ahead and watch this video and see how you can start using it today. First, what I did is I realized that one of my ledger and my sub ledger accounts were out of balance. So I copied and pasted those into Excel. And then I wanted to clean up this data just to make the translation process easier. When I select Copilot for Finance, you can get that app. You can just download that online. You see that I'm going to map my tables in here. Now I can see that my table names are aligned with the tabs. So I'm just going to hit next and this is going to then give me the ability to map my fields. Now we see from the columns A, B, C, and D that they match there. That's why I deleted those columns before. If you have something in between there that you don't need to match out, I would just recommend deleting that. You can go ahead and select OK from there. And just once again, you can align that everything is good. And if I wanted to change one of those columns, I could use a drop down. I can also add an additional key um, or value in there as well for analyzation. Then I'll just tell it to generate the report there. What we can see is it came out and it has my unmatched transactions up at top. Down there in the middle, we see that it has 162 transactions of a potential match, and it even matched 923 transactions as well, and I can actually unhide that to even show that that's really there. So I find that very helpful. Also, we have this whole reconciliation report that makes it easier for analysis. I can go ahead and drop that into a PDF and get some more details, and I can drop that into a Bing Copilot for more analysis as well. Leave a comment and share how you're using Copilot for finance.